Is your skin randomly throwing tantrums? Turning red, itchy, flaky, and angry? Like it just got ghosted? Well, your skin might be in a toxic relationship with your soap, perfume, or even your favorite earrings. Hi, I'm Dr. Naiman, a board-certified dermatologist, here to save your skin from its own enemies. Today we're talking about contact dermatitis, or as I call it, the rash that happens when your skin says, I quit. Let's break it down. Contact means something touched your skin. Dermatitis means your skin got mad about it. It's basically your skin filing a complaint against something it doesn't like. But here's the plot twist. There are two types of contact dermatitis, and your skin reacts to both like a drama queen. Think of this as your skin being burnt out. Too much soap, detergent, sanitizer, or even water. Yes, even water. And your skin just snaps. For example, that burning, cracking sensation after washing dishes 10 times a day. It's not an allergy. It's just irritation. Like when your boss emails you at 11 p.m. So this is your skin throwing shade because it really hates something, like nickel fragrance hair dye or even some so-called natural products. The key difference? Allergic dermatitis happens even with tiny amounts and usually only after multiple exposures. Can't wear artificial jewelry without a rash? Got a weird breakout after applying aloe vera gel? Yup, your skin's just being, well, selectively snobby. Here's how it usually shows up. Redness, itching. Sometimes the rip your skin off level, blisters, peeling and cracks, especially on your hands, feet, eyelids, or wherever the contact happened. Bonus level. It can actually look like eczema, a fungal infection, or even psoriasis. That's why, honestly, Google can't be your doctor. All right, here's what you do. Step one, identify the culprit. That fancy cream or new watch could totally be the traitor. Step two, stop using it immediately. Don't argue with your skin. Step three, moisturize like your life depends on it because your skin barrier definitely needs a vacation. Step four, topical steroids, but only under a dermatologist's guidance. Please, don't start playing chemist with over-the-counter steroid creams. And step five, patch testing. We literally test your skin's likes and dislikes. It's kind of like Tinder for dermatology. So here's the thing. Your friend's home remedy of toothpaste, turmeric and coconut oil just isn't the answer. As dermatologists, we actually decode the real cause behind your skin issues, guide you on safe skincare and help you break that frustrating cycle. And honestly, we don't just guess, we patch test, we analyze and we treat your skin properly. All right, let's talk about what not to do, please, for your skin's sake. First, don't apply random steroid creams for weeks. Seriously, it's not a good idea. Also, don't keep using the same product just hoping the rash will, you know, adjust itself. And please, don't do those DIY patch tests with lemon juice and chili powder. Yes, people actually do this. And trust me, your skin will not thank you. Here's a little bonus tip. Is diet involved? Well, not directly. But if your skin barrier is weak because you're not hydrated enough, or you have a deficiency in essential fatty acids, your skin might react more easily. So, eat healthy fats, drink plenty of water, and yeah, avoid those extreme sugar binges. So, if your skin is mad, itchy, and overreacting, you've got to listen to it. Don't just ghost it. And definitely don't slap on random creams. It's always best to consult a dermatologist, someone who actually understands what your skin is trying to tell you. If this helped you, or maybe even made you laugh, or both, hit that like button, share this with someone who needs to stop blaming the weather for every rash, and subscribe for more myth-busting skincare truths. Because honestly, your skin deserves facts, not fads. Like, share and subscribe for real skin science with a smile.